Here we go again with this Diddy stuff, man. It's just nonstop, and how could you avoid it? But man, look. First of all, let me um. I did see that his uh private jet is on the go. So let's look at the jet. See where the jet is going. Let's check the jet out. See what's up with the jet. It says um. Let's see. Plane number in there. Let's put the plane number. Man, we're just up there. Let me see. One second. Let me look up this number real quick. But man, they they doing diddy dirty, man. This whole investigation is going backwards. This thing is not making no sense. Let's see, 1019. 69C. All right, so let's see, let's see what the plane is now. So the plane is in flight right now. All right, it landed, it landed at 930, 934. Oh, just now it landed, I guess. The plane just landed just now. And, um, Phillipsburg, this Phillipsburg place that's in in California. So it's LA. I guess that's like a private jet uh, terminal or whatever. So he left this morning, or the plane left from Miami this morning at 6.55 and arrived just now as we speak, 9.34 in um, Phillipsburg, right here. Oh, why did I say the, ne the Netherlands? The other day I looked it up, it said, it said uh California. Let me see if I can hit the play button and, and, and see it. Oh, that wasn't the play button. That's weird because I did see when I looked that up the other day, it said that was in um California. Let me try to make this bigger. I don't know, man. Let me see. I can't make it no bigger for some reason. Let me try to see to hit the play button. But anyway, like I said, it's, in, it's just landed just now as we speak. So I seen that it left earlier. So the minute I clicked on the plane landing, so that's where the plane is at. But this is the thing. Now they're talking about they want to interview, possibly interview um his friends and people that was around him and stuff like this. What do you see with this? What do you see wrong with this? So numerous celebrities expected to be questioned as feds prepared to subpoena Diddy's flight manifest. What do you see wrong with that? On top of this, also it says another another article right here about the flight manifest. Same thing. You know what I'm saying? Fed subpoena flight charter companies used by Sean Diddy Combs and Mid Probe. When the feds run into your house. Don't they usually do all this stuff before they come to your house? Subpoena your flight records, check all this stuff, interview the people and this and that and da 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 da. Ain't that usually done before they come to your house? Especially with that kind of force? Since when do the feds and people say, oh, this ain't the feds, this is Homeland Security, this is still the federal government. You know what I'm saying? These are, they operate out outside of, they're not restricted by state lines. You know what I'm saying? So this is the federal government in that sense. And the investigation is out of New York, you know what I'm saying? So this proves that this is this is a federal operation. This is not New York and, and LA, this is the, the homeland security. So ain't it weird that they're doing all this stuff backwards? Now they subpoena and flight records. Now they're gonna bring his friends into the mix. You know what I'm saying? There's another one. They said uh now J Lo is about to be in a hot seat. Let me see. It says um FBI said the widen Diddy sex probe over claims rapper boasts about shooting people, bribing jurors, and using J Lo as a gun mule. You know what I mean? So 
ain't no secret why she went and tried to run up under Ben Affleck again. You know what I'm saying? She seen this coming. She said, look, let me get up under, let me get up under the graces of some good folks out here. You know what I'm saying? It ran off and went back over there to that. Trying to get this mess off of her, but now he's talking about um, bringing J-Lo in. You know what I'm saying? All this type of stuff makes no sense because this is all this stuff. they talking about J-Lo. They're talking about manifesting, getting subpoena his flight records, people he was dealing with. This is stuff that the feds usually do before they come to get your ass ahead of time. He said, uh, Fulton County Champion said, your, your mic is really low. The last few videos been that way. Oh, my bad. I don't know if I could turn this up or not. Things as loud as it goes. Will it seem better now? Uh, Kyra Noah, shout out to you as usual. But, um, this is not, this, this is not going right. This is going backwards. Usually the feds do all this stuff ahead of time. Since when do they come running your house? Then do an investigation after that. I mean, of course, they're going to still investigate as it goes on to the end, but... Usually they would do all this stuff ahead of time. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. But then I saw I thought this was interesting too. A clip here of Mark Curry. And um copyright guidelines is fair use act. You know what I'm saying? This ain't this is fair use. I ain't over here trying to, you know what I'm saying, strong arm somebody's videos. This is fair use. This is actually I seen it on Discretion TV. So shout out to Discretion TV. But it seems now that Mark Curry is um Defending Diddy, so let's see what Mark Curry got. It's not defending him, but definitely not going in like he was before. So let's see what he got to say. And that's how that one went. Some people now are speculating that it was not Shine at all who pulled the trigger, that it was actually Diddy himself. What do you think about this part right here? Is when they're talking about the, the shooting in New York in the club years ago with, with Shine that went down for the shooting. Because, you know, the female that got shot, one of the females, the people that got shot, she's been she's been saying that Diddy was really the one that shot her. And now her story is now like, well, I guess she's been saying it, but now her story has been coming to light since this stuff been going on. But this is what uh, Mark Curry had to say about it. So, this is interesting. Um, as I told someone, when you hear gunshots, the only thing, the first thing you think to do is, well, there's two things you're going to think to do. And you're out in the crowd, you hear gunshots, you're going to close your eyes and you're going to duck or you're going to drop to the floor. So if you hear gunshots that, that and they're ringing out in a local place like that, you're not going to be looking for where the gunshots are coming from, the shots are coming from, and the gunshots, the bullet travels so fast that you probably won't see who has the gun because the bullet travels faster than the, almost the, the speed of sound. Like, okay, you're not going to be able to look at someone shoot you. So we in the and we can't say that if Shine said that it was, oh, it was better for County Shine Champion. Good luck. Good luck with that. For the amount of time that he went to prison. So if Shine went to prison and, and the United States judicial system already had concluded this case and this is what the crime and what they the punishment they felt need to be carried out for it then that was a decision that was made by the judicial system and they made their decision. So what I have to say, opposed to what the law said, I'm going to have to side with the law because the law has people who study and they know how to find those results. Right. I cannot find those results. Moving into present day, Mark had thoughts about other allegations Diddy is... See, so when, when, he, when Mark Curry was up on all the dialogue and stuff like that, if it would have seemed like if he was asked this question, Max, quiet. Like he would have um went in on him, you know what I'm saying? But now he's not. Now he kind of changed his tone. Maybe he's coming to the realization that look, man, this is a whether Diddy's actually guilty or not is not even the question. It's the way they're going about the investigation that's just so bogus, you know what I'm saying? Because it really don't make no sense. But there's there's more. Listen, listen more of what he says. Now up against including sex trafficking. Um, sex trafficking may be a little bit overboard. I mean, it's a little bit out there. Goddamn right, Raiders out you there. To say a celebrity, and you would look at a celebrity such as Puff Daddy, you wouldn't call it a sex trafficking thing. You would call it he's someone who's a John. That means he's probably the one that's paying to have these young ladies get dropped off to his house by someone who may have a flew of young ladies that are into that business. So when we look at sex trafficking, Lay down. Um, I don't know if a John could be 
charged with sex trafficking. And Clara knows that he met. Between the giant and the trafficker. So was he the giant or was he the trafficker? That's going to be one of the questions because it's going to be hard to say he's a sex trafficker because I can't imagine him having to make a living off of having females um, sell or, or let's say in order to do something unwillingly for something, you have to have some kind of gain to it. So it's either you're making them a slave and if he's making them a slave, then that's wrong. But if these females or whoever it may be are doing things and they're willingly doing the things that they're doing and they know what they're engaging in, then I think that these people should be responsible for their decision. Exactly. God damn it. It's common sense. That's that's what people, it's not like I'm up here defending Diddy. Oh, are you defending? I'm not defending Diddy as far as like, I'm not saying the Joker is, I'm not, that's not even about him being innocent or guilty. It's about, look, at, look something else is going on. They got us looking over here. They doing something over here. Just like you said, do you think that Diddy would have to be sex trafficking female? For one, to keep up with the lifestyle he got, if he's doing sex trafficking, do you know the amount of females he's going to be having to sex traffic to make to make money to, to sustain his sustain his lifestyle? It, it'd be so big that it'd be something that <clears throat> if he was doing that, that wouldn't be able to be hidden. They would have been knowing that. You got to understand, all these black celebrities have been, they're, they're constantly under watch, constantly, especially people like Diddy. The more money they got, the more they're being watched by the feds at all times. So if he'd been doing this, they would have been knew he was doing this. This would have been came up. They would have been grabbed him up. You know what I'm saying? This is just a result of decisions sometimes people make. Sex trafficking is hard. Um, trafficking guns is, is another one. I can't see him having to sell guns. I... Another thing, that's what I'm saying. Like, shit is common sense. Like, do you think Diddy's going to be selling guns? You know how many guns he would have to be selling to, to sustain the lifestyle he lives? The amount would be so high that this would have been seen. And like I said, all this investigation they're doing after the fact, this is what the feds usually do ahead of time. They don't start subpoenaing. They, they do this before they come get you. This is the reason why they come, because they did an investigation, did the flight records check, all this stuff. Then they would have came with the stuff they got. You know what I'm saying? I don't know him for being a, a gun a carrier. Um, he doesn't have the need to carry a gun because he carries security. So what basically, he need a gun for if he has people that surround him that are paid and trained to carry guns? So then that's one that threw me for a loop. As far as relations with any underage women, Mark says that's likely a misunderstanding. He's going to the club and he's 52 again. If he does an after party or if he, he's doing a concert, usually when you go to these concerts, there are young people at these concerts. They're uh, 23, 21, sometimes not even 20, and they're lying to act like they're 21 to get there. So you say they're at these, these concerts. And then he says, okay, well, we're going to have an after party or his sons might have a party for um, with their friends. So he does have children that kids their age that live with him. Just because some kids may show up to his house or underage females may show up to his house. What if we know, what if, how do we know they're not there for Christian? How do we know they're not there for his daughters? How do we know they're not there for Justin? Some of the other allegations are that Puff Daddy actually assaulted some people that he sexually assaulted them or forced them to have sex with other people does that sound like the person you know i feel no again shout out to discretion tv this is who this is whose video i'm watching but this is on law and crime so uh copyright disclaimer you know what i'm saying fair use and all that stuff sound like the person i know it doesn't sound like the person i know does it sound like people that i know it sounds like people that i know but do I see the same characteristics in those people that I see in Puff? No, I don't see the same characteristics because Puff doesn't have to force anyone to do anything because it's enough people who would just do anything just to be associated with him. So it, it could be affiliated with him. So his life is so easy. He doesn't have to force people to do anything around him. The only thing he has to do is watch the people that are around him and their intentions. Some people have some very ill intentions. Mark believes such serious accusations can't be confirmed without asking some very important questions. But we're looking at force. Force is by pressure. Force is by trauma almost. It's almost by um, physical violence. So what kind of physical violence took place before the conjugal 
part of it. Um, were you handcuffed? Um, was you tied up? Um, did they take your clothes off of you? How did you get with your clothes off of you? Wh why was you there? Who dropped you off? Um, why? So see, that's, that, these are all the things I've been saying. You know what I'm saying? When people say, oh, I'm defending Diddy. These are just common sense questions that a person would ask. Even Mark Curry out here now changed his tune up. Last couple of months ago, we seen him out here trying to chew Diddy up. Now, maybe he came to his senses. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Even like Gene Dill. Gene Dill even said he was like, look, this is a bit extreme. You know what I'm saying? All this stuff going on. All the feds running. For that many feds, they're running in your house and not leave with you. That that don't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? I'm still sticking to the, my original story. Like I said before, this is what I still think it is. Um, Right here. The situation with Clarence Avant, I believe they passed, I, I believe Clarence Avant passed Diddy, all his videos and the people he got, you know what I'm saying? Clive Davis and all them, he was he was above all of them. I think when he died in, in um August, I think he passed Diddy, his stuff, his videos, his list, all this type of stuff. I did a video about Clarence Avant and Diddy a couple of videos ago, you can look at it. This goes way deeper than Diddy, dude. This is not. This don't start and stop with Diddy. If Diddy, if Diddy had done stuff wrong and he, he's guilty of some of this stuff, that's only a, a part of all this stuff. They went into that boy's house to destroy evidence or take some evidence out of there. Not evidence to use against him. Evidence that that he has on other people. You know what I'm saying? That's what this was really about. Cause um. This don't make no goddamn sense, for real, for real. Kyra knows 100. This shit don't make no sense. Like, there's a lot more going on than we see right now. And like I said before, maybe Diddy, maybe this was his job. Maybe he was the Jeffrey Epstein of the, you know what I'm saying, hip-hop. Maybe it was his job to be out here to get mad people on video at parties, get you inebriated, whether you're doing drugs willingly or unwillingly, unknowingly, get you on film, get you on tape. Now they got... Um, power now they got stuff to blackmail you with, make you do stuff with shady deals and all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I just thought that was interesting. Mark Curry came out here now, and like I said, not saying he's straight up defending him, but he's not taking the opportunity to um jump on and pile on with these questions he's being asked. He's saying the obvious. You know what I'm saying? What it looks like? Does it make sense that Diddy would have been and the one part, I didn't play the one part. He was like, maybe Diddy was the John, you know what I'm saying? In sex trafficking, you know, the, the people that pick up hookers, they're called John or tricks, you know what I'm saying? So he said maybe Diddy was the trick or the John that was, was paying for sex. That would make more sense, you know what I'm saying? It don't make sense that he's flying chicks around the world selling them. That don't even make sense. For a sex trafficking probe, that's a trafficking, like that's, 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 that's way extreme for what's going on as far as his part. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, man. This stuff is interesting, man. They don't do investigations backwards. By the time they come get you, they, they didn't already subpoena this person and that person and ask people questions and this and that. They they ran in his house, didn't take him out of there, and now they're going get, trying to round up his friends and stuff like that. Don't be surprised if this ends with hip-hop being taken down altogether. You know what I'm saying? As far as, like, Anybody who's still left, they got any kind of money or any kind of influence because everybody done party with Diddy at some point. I mean, how far back are they going to go? You know what I'm saying? You even seen pictures, even 50 was cool with Diddy at one point. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, how far back are they going to go with these Diddy parties? If he been out here doing these parties, if, if he was working for these people to get people to come to these parties so he can catch them doing questionable stuff with videos, they say he had hidden cameras everywhere. If they go back twenty years, man, that's the whole the whole entire goddamn hip hop. Everybody who been out here for twenty, thirty years is is, is questionable. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna try to tie them all into a Rico and then say they were sex trafficking people all together. You know what I'm saying? Don't even make sense. Taiwan Gant was good. Carbon knows one for a four said factuals. That's how I feel, you know what I'm saying? Like I, at this point we never know what like sometimes strange the, the Sometimes the truth is stranger than fiction sometimes, you know what I'm saying? So we never know what's really going on behind the scenes. But my experience and my gut tells me that to run into his house with that much manpower and not take him out of there 
And also to run into his house when he wasn't there is highly suspicious. You know what I'm saying? They went and talked to him at the airport after the fact or before the fact. But when they run into your house, they already was watching you for probably the whole week, if not definitely 24 hours before that, because they want to catch you at the house so they could take you. So why did they run into that to his house while he wasn't there? They, that's like sneaky. You know what I'm saying? That's a sneaky tactic. There was no reason why they couldn't catch him at his house. All them feds, all that manpower, they could have easily ran up in there when he was there. But they purposely waited till he left the house to go into his house. Then disabled his security cameras so he can't see the raid and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, most most cameras got, you can just view it on your phone. You know what I'm saying? Even a ring camera, a basic ring camera. So to imagine the security system that Diddy probably had on his thing. Yeah, they even came through water. Kyra knows, you know what I'm saying? Like, they did all that, and you didn't even catch him at the house. Y'all waited till he was gone to go into his house. That's, like, unheard of, actually. You know what I'm saying? The feds, like, they, it's possible that they would kick down your door, and maybe all the, all the suspects aren't there if it's m- multiple people. But how often do they kick in somebody's door, come in with an uninspected warrant, like, run up on you, and a person's not there. That hardly that hardly never happens. You know what I'm saying? Because now you run in somebody's house when they ain't there. You find stuff. Now you didn't gave them the opportunity to dip. That's like something that they don't ever do. When they run into your house, they've been having surveillance on you for at least the 24 hours before they actually come into your house. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm talking about like nonstop surveillance to know exactly where you're at. So when they come in there 6 in the morning, they don't miss. They know you're going to be there. You know what I'm saying? So they can grab you up when they come in there. So that right there don't make no sense. It looked to me like they did that sneakily. They wanted to go into his house without him being there so they can creep around. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. That's about it. Like I said, if he just came, his jet his jet did uh, make some movement earlier. and went from Miami to Phillipsburg. That's in, um, in California. Phillipsburg, LA. I clicked this to set Netherlands before, but I don't know why. Because the other day when I seen the flight plane, it went straight to California. That, that uh, Phillipsburg thing. But man, this this thing is making no sense, man. This is a big ass shady thing that's going on. And we, I don't think we're ever gonna know the truth with this. You know what I'm saying? And I did see yesterday, um, somebody's platform. I didn't see the actual like footage of it, but they're saying that. It looks like they're going to drop the uh, Motown part of it with that Lucius Grains dude because they caught a bunch of lies in uh, Little Rod's um, lawsuit. If you have a wonderful day, uh, too, Kyra knows. Much love as usual for all the support. They um they they picked apart the story, Little Rod's story, about the, the Lucius dude with Motown and pretty much proved that some of the stuff he said was lies. So it looked like they're going to have to delete Motown out of the lawsuit and the Lucius Grames dude, which takes away the Rico part of it pretty much, as, at least as far as that part goes. You know what I'm saying? So once they do that, if and when they do that, looks like they're going to have to. That's going to make his whole case, his, everything he's saying is going to be questionable. The Little Rod dude, because if, if it, the, cause they talking about they talking about suing Little Rod's lawyer now. So if that happens, because he put, questionable stuff in his lawsuit, that's going to make that whole section of it collapse because now everything you said is questionable. You know what I'm saying? And pictures coming out with Cuba Gooding Jr. and Little Rod, he got his leg on his arm, his arm on his leg, and then these little videos and pictures. What that tells me is that, dude, if you was there to go through all that, you was participating. How many times could a dude put his hand on your leg before you leave if you don't want it to happen? The first time something questionable like that happens, you're either going to fight, leave, or call the goddamn police if it's something that you're not participating in. I don't understand how this happens more than one time. I don't understand how you wake up in the bed with Diddy naked, like I think he said. That's not possible if you're not with it. You can only have one story like that. You know what I'm saying? You could either say you woke up naked with him. You could say Cubic Gooden Jr. touched your leg. You could say Diddy was touching your butt, like he said. Only You can only say one of those things. You know what I'm saying? 
saying all those things don't make sense because that means you stayed around after the first one happened, which means you a goddamn participant, a willing participant. So now that they're on them, they'll find something of value, um, something of value to them. The swallowed. <laughs> what if T? <laughs> oh man, like that's like I said. You gotta understand. You got T D. Jakes. You got Prince Harry. You got these big names involved in this thing. They went in that boy's house to destroy evidence and take evidence out because they probably are going to end up running down on Diddy maybe to get him on something because they can easily make something up if they don't really got nothing. But before they do that. They wanted to get some evidence out of there that's going to incriminate other people. You know what I'm saying? And I'm still sticking to, the, until I see different, I'm, I'm thinking that Diddy got clearance, Avance, all his stuff before he died. I think he left it to Diddy. You know what I'm saying? That's clearance, Avant right there and Diddy. That's what I'm going with still. I'm going to hold on to that until something else, until something else comes that proves that, that proves that to be um not the case. Because, Nothing else makes sense that they're telling us. Yeah, power bottom. Yo, when they said uh, <laughs> T.D. Jakes is a power bottom, I'm like, what the fuck is a power bottom? Like, I heard of a bottom. Obviously, you know what a bottom or a top is or whatever, but a fucking power bottom? What is a power bottom? Like, that don't even sound engineeringly correct. Like, a power bottom? What the fuck is that? If you a bottom, what's the words of the power coming in if you a bottom? Like, that shit was... I first seen that, I, I I tell you, man, these people are crazy, man. The shit they come up with just to try to paint pictures of certain people, like, or, or just, it's crazy, man. And, um, I don't know where T.D. Jakes, and T.D. Jakes, I guess he been, they kind of turned off the algorithm with T.D. Jakes, because his, he, he kind of died out a little bit. You ain't really seen nothing about him in a couple of weeks, you know what I'm saying? But if this if this Diddy thing don't go nowhere in a couple of days, they're gonna turn the algorithm off for this, and then we'll all be not even thinking about this in a couple of days. That's how this shit works now. If you if you realize that the algorithm controls our minds now, we can be hardcore on the topic for days, and then overnight they could turn it off. Then you don't even realize till a couple of days later, you'd be like, damn, whatever happened with Diddy? It'd be like a week later. You know what I'm saying? Like shit's it's weird like that nowadays, man. The algorithm is like connected to our brains inside now. They just like turn the knob, you know what I'm saying? And then it just turns off the whole, we'd be focused on something totally different. You know what I mean? But that's about it, man. Shout out to everybody that came through. Kyra knows, much love to you as usual. Uh, I think I seen Twan Gann up in here. Shout out to you, uh, Fulton County champions. Good luck with telling me about the mic. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. About the breakdown. If I was to continue doing this and get some other stuff, I done bought like three different things already to try to get try to get this to sound right, but I have to break down and get that roadcaster uh thing that everybody uses right now. But um that's about it. Shout out to all y'all. Have a good goddamn day. Stay out of the way of these jokers.